Hello everyone! There seems to be a lot of confusion surrounding service dogs and emotional support animals, so today I wanted to do a quick rundown on the differences of each. First, let's talk about service animals. According to the Americans with Disabilities Act, a service animal is defined as a dog or miniature horse that is trained to perform tasks that mitigate their handler's disabilities. These are the only two species covered under the ADA to have public access rights. Since service dogs are far more common than service miniature horses, we will focus our discussion on them. Service dogs typically undergo years of extensive training. Under the ADA, service dogs can accompany their handlers to all public places where the general public is allowed, such as businesses, restaurants, and movie theaters. Public access does have practical limitations, however. For example, a service dog is typically not allowed in an operating room to maintain the sterility of the environment. Now, this next part is very important. There is no required national registry for service dogs. Any online site that offers to register your dog as a service dog for a fee is considered a scam. Professional training programs may have a graduation ceremony, certificate, or database of dogs that have successfully completed training, but no registration or documentation is required for public access. Here is a quick look at the ADA's regulations on service animals. If you have any questions about service dogs, I would encourage you to check out the ADA's documents before going to any other source. Service dogs can have a number of different jobs, but all are trained to help someone with a disability. What constitutes a service dog? Service dogs can be any breed, but must be capable of performing the necessary tasks. For example, it wouldn't make sense to have a Yorkie for weight bearing and mobility assistance. Service dogs can be trained by a professional organization or by their owner handler, though I would recommend consulting with a professional trainer before attempting to train your own dog. They can be a mixed breed or purebred and can be from a rescue or from a breeder. They must be well-behaved in public and able to tolerate a wide range of environments. They must be healthy and able to work. Any animal with significant medical issues that limit their ability to perform tasks should be retired. If a dog is unsuitable for service work, either for medical or behavioral reasons, the dog is said to be washed, which just means that they will no longer be considered as a service dog or service dog in training. Before we move on, here are a few quick notes from the ADA. With public access, staff at a business are allowed to ask two questions. Is that a service dog? And what tasks has the dog been trained to perform? They cannot inquire about the handler's disability or require documentation or certification for the animal, hence why online registries are totally useless. Another important note is that even if the dog is a trained service animal, it can still be legally denied access if it creates a significant disturbance in the business or is not properly housebroken. Next, we'll move on to emotional support animals. Commonly known as ESAs, these animals can be virtually any species within reason. For example, you can't have an emotional support grizzly bear. They are pets in the sense that they require no formal training, but they are not considered average pets as far as housing accommodation goes, since they must be allowed to live with their owners. To qualify as an ESA, the owner must present documentation from a physician or mental health professional that states that this animal provides emotional support for the owner. ESAs are not psychiatric service dogs. Psychiatric service dogs are trained to perform tasks such as blocking or interrupting panic attacks. ESAs are generally not trained to perform tasks. The next point is very, very important. Emotional support animals have no public access rights. They cannot go into a business with you unless you have the business owner's permission, of course. They cannot go into a movie theater or restaurant. 
They may be able to fly with you in an airplane, but be sure to check out the airline first to make sure that's okay. Thanks for watching.